he was basically giving me the whole rundown again saying all of our friends want us to be together still and I was like yeah of course like they probably don't want to be in this situation either but it is what it is and then he basically switched like flipped a switch or something and then he got really angry with me and started yelling and then being mean to me and he was like you don't know what they said about you I don't know a whole ordeal and it was really mind boggling and like very confusing for me because he's basically trying to pin me against my friends he also tried to pin me against my sister um saying that she was saying things about me um saying like a lot of the things he's saying are like people think you look classless and ignorant on tiktok um and you're hurting our relationship well the relationship's over and this is just how i cope so it is what it is but now here I am just basically on my own. Like I want to rely on my friend. So I'm not saying that her ex fiance is a narcissist, but if he is, he's doing a very, very toxic narcissistic trait where he tries to turn her against her friends and her family. And if you knew her, I'm a narcissist. I actually had narcissistic personality disorder. The one thing that narcissistic people want to do is isolate you away from your friends and family, especially if your friends and family are not on their side. You see how it went from, hey, all our friends want us, be, want us to be back together. And then when that didn't work, he got angry and tried to turn her against her friends, their mutual friends and family and things like that. Oh, you don't know what they're saying about you. You're, you're classless on TikTok exposing me. Narcissistic people don't want to be exposed. They care about their rep reputations almost more than anything on this planet. If you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person and y'all have mutual friends, watch out for well-intended bad advice. Because a lot of people will intend to give you good advice, but it ends up being bad advice because they don't understand the situation. Or they understand the situation, but they are on the narcissist toxic person's side. And she said she told her friends what happened. This man got caught had, talking to a woman that he had saved under Krista Crane operator in his phone. He was clearly cheating on her. She had a whole video go viral where he was clearly cheating on her. Look at this right here. Once you get married, we're completely over it. I'm not ready for that. Look at this right here. We'll change it. Like I know you, I shouldn't pursue you because you're getting married and you won't leave her. And I know better. You're wrong. This is his response in his own phone. Of course, when he got caught, he tried to blame her for going through the phone. He tried to gaslight her and made it seem like she was overreacting and that these text messages weren't real and things like that. She showed these to her friends, y'all. She showed these to her friends. Her friends know about these text messages and some of them are still telling them to get back together. If you show your friends messages like this and they still somehow tell you to get back with your ex because uh, they don't want the friend group to break up, those are not your friends. They are putting the, the well-being of the friendship group above the well-being of you yourself. So if you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, find people that are on your side that will support you in this type of stuff. Because if not, you'll be alone with just a narcissistic person and they will exhaust you into getting back with them.